Sin is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Bound by a strange desire They'll fall into a ring of fire They'll fall into a burning ring of fire They'll go down, down, down And the flames go higher And it burns That ring of fire That ring of fire They'll fall into a burning ring of fire They'll go down, down, down And the flames go higher And it burns That ring of fire That ring of fire The taste of sin is sweet When hearts like theirs meet Enticed like a child Oh, but the fire goes wild They'll fall into a burning ring of fire They'll go down, down, down And the flames go higher And it burns That ring of fire That ring of fire They'll fall into a burning ring of fire They'll go down, down, down And the flames go higher And it burns That ring of fire That ring of fire it Burns, burns, burns That ring of fire That ring of fire That ring of fire That ring of fire Okay, now look, uh, let's get it straight. I don't want anyone to go to hell. I mean, I really don't want to see anyone go, going to hell. It's an unquenchable fire, says the Bible. It's where the worm dieth not, and it's outer darkness. Now, I don't wish that on anyone, really. But some people might say, well, what, are you a hater? Is this preaching hate? No, it's not. Because one man's hate is another man's love. If we... Christians see that someone is doing something that's not pleasing to God that's going to hurt themselves We try to correct them. We try to warn them not that we're better, but we want Those things that please God for everybody Now that's love. You can call it tough love. You can call it concern for others It's like when I'm on the street for instance I mean, uh, people with different lifestyles, and I can't even say the, the, the word because there may be uh, an algorithm against it, and they ask me, what do you think of this lifestyle? And I tell them. But when I talk to them, I say, look, it's not just that that's a sin. Adultery is a sin. Lying is a sin. Killing and murdering innocent people abroad, that's a sin. Genocide by different States uh, is a sin, okay? So I, I'd say I'm not pointing at you. I mean, we all have to live lives that are pleasing to God. Now, God doesn't send anyone to hell. This is what the Orthodox Church teaches. The Orthodox teaches that people send themselves to hell, that when they are at God's judgment day, at the throne of God, on that day, they will condemn themselves saying, I don't belong here because they'll know that they did not live a life that's pleasing to God. And this is something I strive for, and this is what I strive for in all my videos. I want to talk about how we can please God, and I bring it down to a very practical level. I want to please God. Help me do it.